everyone welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is ashley also known as ashford plays and we're back with another episode for my discovery university let's play series so as you saw from the intro we lost a long time friend mira vera danny the twin stepfather's dog is no longer with us she passed away while the twins were on their spring break trip and monica is currently calling cameron to let them know but as you can see we're currently in cameron's dorm the twins are finally back in bright Chester in time to attend their classes. Camille's currently in her gardening class right now. She has an 8 a.m. and I'm having her take notes because again, we try to get all A's. And I think for Cameron, he doesn't have class until 11 and this is his programming class. So once Cameron gets done at noon, I'm gonna have the twins head over to the Rivera residence to give their condolences and also properly mourn Mia and also catch up with their family because a lot has happened since they last been at the Rivera house. Like Cameron is engaged so he needs to tell his mom about his engagement but that being said chastity will be coming along as for the twins funds for some reason simoleons were mysteriously added to their household funds i can't remember what the funds were it's like seven thousand something something but now it's saying they have eight thousand simoleons but i will say the restaurant did charge them the 425 simoleons that said you're not slick we get our money <laughs> We lost money, but we also gained money. I'm just gonna leave it alone because we only have two more episodes left. I'm just ready for the twins to move on and have their own place. And I don't have to worry about pocket watching them because <laughs> it's honestly a little bit tiring to do. But what's on the agenda for today is quite a bit. So we're gonna be at the Rivera household, spending time with the twins family. There is a cram session going on at the Brychester Commons around 10 p.m. So I wanna make sure that they get back to campus before then. So I'm gonna get Cameron's needs in order before he has his 11 a.m. class. And I'm guessing the rest of their roommates are in class right now. Oh, someone's crying. Oh, it's Joy. Oh my gosh, y'all, Joy's crying. Girl, she's probably mad because <laughs> she was the only roommate that wasn't invited on the spring break trip. <laughs> I peeped that last episode, y'all. I was like, wait a damn minute. <laughs> We didn't invite Joy to this trip. <laughs> oh, there go Anthony, y'all. The man of the hour. <gasps> Cameron! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I should have had him take a cold shower. I didn't notice this until now. Anthony, why are you going? Hold on, y'all. Let me lock some doors around here. Because <laughs> I know damn well Seven would not appreciate him going to her townhouse. Anthony! Seven, you just need to be his ass at this point. <laughs> so Cameron changed and I have him wearing this shirt to honor Mia. Y'all, <laughs> Mia's gone. <laughs> I know I'm finna cry when I get to Miss Monica's home. Okay, we're gonna do laundry while we wait. Cause, oh wait, I don't think he's done his homework. Okay, he hasn't. Hold on, hold on now, hold on. Oh my gosh, y'all, that chassis drawer is still being in his inventory. Can you wash them? No? Dang, that would have been really neat. <laughs> that would have been really nice if he could. Gonna have him wash his spring break clothes too. And then once he's done with that, we'll have him start his homework. Is that seven? It is. Oh, Camille's done. Where she came to her brother's town home. Season three, I don't know what they're gonna do with themselves because they're not living in the same world. And I just don't know how they are gonna even handle it. <laughs> the way that they be attached at their hook. I don't know how they are gonna do it. Camille turn your homework confidently, period. Let's have her fill up her needs, use the restroom, take a quick shower. And then she gonna take her a fat old nap because <laughs> she is tired. Anthony, y'all. I kicked Anthony out of Seven's townhome. You know what? I'm gonna be messy. I'm gonna be messy. I'm gonna just keep it unlocked for him. Cause clearly he like being over here all of a sudden. Is Joy crying again? Who's crying now? Oh my gosh, Maureen's crying. Y'all, I, I think they stress from class because it is towards the end of the semester. I think the stress is getting to everybody. Meanwhile, Camille is just in the best mood. <laughs> I mean, this Siga, he is napping on her couch. Seven, kick him out. 
<laughs> Look how she looking. She like, damn, why is he over here? <laughs> okay, Cameron is done with all of his homework for the next few days. I'm gonna have him move his laundry to the dryer. It looks like Joy's doing some yoga. Probably trying to de-stress from the semester. Now Cameron head to class. Oh wait, I think we have mail. We do have mail. Wait, what? We're sorry to inform you that your track was not up to standards to Dinky Beats music. We wish you luck on your journey. Oh no! <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Cameron's going through it, y'all. He done found out his family dog died. He didn't get signed to the music label. On top of that, he died last episode. <laughs> He's just going through it. He's going to class. Check on Camille. Okay, her needs are pretty good. I'm gonna check on the rest of the roommates since we only got two more episodes left with yeah, them. Yeah. But don't worry, we'll see them next season. Is Anthony still mooching in Seven's home? Okay, he's not. Oh, here he goes. Also, update on Anthony. Because I did get him a new hairstyle, um, he got a little haircut. I think that fixed the shower wig problem because whenever he takes a shower, he no longer changes into his little his little bob. But um, y'all gonna see that bob in this episode. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it at that. He said y'all gonna see it one way or another, <laughs> whether it be a bug or not. Why is he so pissed? Is he so pissed at seven? I think he is. I'm gonna control him, y'all. And is unfaithful love from jealousy. Anthony, yeah. please be so serious. Like he actually over here pissed. Like he didn't start the cheating first. That's so crazy. One thing men gonna have is audacity and a lot of it. <laughs> I don't even want to see him no more. Look, get him out of here. Better yet, go for a walk. <laughs> oh, I far forget. Let me have camera take notes. I'm gonna wake Camille up. Have her come downstairs and I think I'm gonna have her do some laundry too. Looks like Cameron's done with his class for today and he turned in his homework confidently. So now that the twins are done with their classes for the day, I'm gonna have them go ahead and head to Copperdale and catch up with their Veras. I made to Copperdale with the twins plus Chastity. And like I said before, we gotta tell Miss Monica about Cameron's engagement. Saw you were heading out, so what we doing? Marie, if you don't take your ass on so... Girl, bye. <laughs> Do not piss me off. <laughs> now she disappeared, I'm weak. All right. Oh, also they took um, Chastity's car here, but I'm just not realizing that Chastity got a two seater. So I actually don't know how they actually managed to get here. We just not gonna question it. <laughs> Who are you crying? Oh no, absolutely not. <laughs> Stop that right now. Let me see if I can have camera cheer him up. Do a story, tell a funny story, go do that. Okay, Isabella's swimming, of course. There goes Miss Monica and Danny. <laughs> He's struggling. There goes Cadence, but where's Mochi? He didn't move. <laughs> oh, he liked it. Okay, okay, okay. Tasha, why is she calling? Oh, okay. Congratulations on your recent birthday. Thanks. No, for real. Where's Mochi? Please tell me Mochi ain't get got too. Oh, there she goes. Okay, I got real scared real quickly. <laughs> I said, dang, is it Mochi's time too? Okay, let me have Camille come over here and give Mochi the biggest little smooch. And then I'll have Cameron announce his engagement to Miss Monica, even though she's in the worst mood right now. Wait, what? What was that? Call failure of a parent? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Okay, let's announce the engagement. See how Miss Monica takes the news. Easy out. Pimba Xerxes. Your <laughs> Good right Cameron can't Mars. wait to tell Super everyone about clave. his engagement. It's his favorite topic of conversation. Oh. Hey, he got excited buff about it. Share excitement. Oh, okay. I think this Monica is actually excited about it. Hold on. Let me make sure though. Let me make sure. Oh my gosh, she's feeling proud. 
don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm about to cry. Hold on. Misty eyed from hearing engagement. Monica can feel her eyes welling up with that engagement announcement. Monica feels so proud of her offspring and it sh Wait, I might actually cry, y'all. Hold on, because Miss Monica did not like Chesty at first. I don't remember who this mod is by. I'll have it on the screen for you guys. But is that not the cutest mod ever? I think you even get like a sentiment from it. <gasps> you do! Growing up so fast, it's always a wonderful moment to watch offspring grow up and fit. Wait, no, I'm actually about to cry. <laughs> I'm actually about to cry because not the twins growing up on us for real. These two sims have a loving bond and Monica can't wait to see how Cameron's wedding turns out. That is adorable. I'm gonna see if I can have him talk up chastity to her because like I said before, they did not have the best first impression on each other. So I just want Cameron to make sure his fiance and his mama get along. <laughs> chastity, please. Did you tell her about chastity? Can we try that again? Chastity done distracted him. Oh, he found a sentiment too. Wow, Cameron, I wasn't aware that you felt so strongly about chastity. She seems like good company. I'll chat with her soon. Oh, thank God, y'all. <laughs> I spoke with Chastity and found her quite pleasing. So the first time he introduced her, I think Monica was a little bit hesitant because Monica was like, wasn't she just dating that little Romeo kid? Why is she already moving on to another relationship? I don't know. This girl, she be moving too fast for my liking. But now that Chastity and Cameron been together for such a long time, about five years now, I'm guessing Chastity done grew on Miss Monica. And thank goodness, because <laughs> I really didn't want there to be any type of animosity between the two of them. I'm going to have Camille um, talk to Isabella. I'm going to do that. <laughs> One thing about Isabella, she gonna stay in the swimsuit. Is Danny still exercising? Oh, he's not. Where is Danny? Oh, he's talking to Caleb. Damn, Caleb! <laughs> Somebody please check on Caleb's draws. I'm so serious. Somebody do it. Miss Monica. No, I'm not even gonna do that. Let me have Danny do it. <laughs> he right here. He, he witnessed it. <laughs> Oh, he's feeling so bad about Mia. I feel so bad for Danny. Mia, Mia and Danny, they were tight. He had Mia before Monica even got with him. Like that's how long he's had Mia. Um, toddler care. I know we gotta change that diaper. Ain't no way. Ain't no way Caleb's diaper is not dirty from that big ass wet ass fart. I'm gonna leave it alone. But speaking of Mia, I wanna show you guys her tombstone. So it's out here in the backyard. There it goes, it says rest in peace. Oh, I'm gonna have the twins come out here and mourn her. It looks like Danny needs to go to work. I'm gonna have him call off work because his pet died. I'm not even gonna put him through that. Take that day off, Danny. Looks like Chassie's talking to Cadence. Uh -huh. Let me control her, see what she's doing. Oh, she just started her period. Oh my goodness. What is this? Give a massage to Cameron, girl. Oh, yo, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I should be laughing. I should be laughing, but this is so serious. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this was basically like their family dog. They knew Mia for so long. It's crazy though, because last episode, Cameron died, and then not even like. <laughs> Two seconds later, Mia died. The Grim Reaper really said, I'm, I'm leaving, leaving him with something. You know what I mean? I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. Let me have them go back inside and catch up with the rest of their family members. I'll have Cameron catch up with Cadence. And then we'll have Camille catch up with Caleb. It looks like Camille got a sad buff from remembering a pet that passed away. Did Cameron not get the same buff? Oh, he did. Y'all look at Mochi moping around. That was her girl. Mia was her girl, y'all. Oh no, she's scared of the- Why is the dishwasher broken? Oh my gosh, I don't have time for this. Fix it. Now, Kayla, why are you looking like that? <laughs> they can do this autonomously? I think this is from Utopia. 
I didn't know they could do that at Thomas Lee. That's actually kind of cute. Hold on. <laughs> They're adorable. Nami realizing Chastity not wearing her damn wedding ring. Hold on, y'all. Uh uh. We're going to go and cast and fix that real quickly. Because why she came over here with a wedding ring? <laughs> All right, she got her wedding ring on now, y'all. She got that ring on now. <laughs> Hello? Oh, y'all. Now she feeling tense from Caleb. This is how I know Karen and Chastity are not ready for a kid at all. Because why is she feeling so tense from Caleb crying? <laughs> Karen feeling tense too. So I currently have Danny cooking barbecue on the grill. And I also have Camille and Cadence on the swing. And I just love the vibe of this so bad, y'all. This reminds me of summer when you were a little kid and you just got out of school. Parents in the grill making some barbecue and then fresh lemonade too. So I'm going to have Chastity make that. That can be her contribution. Bloom. Do I have radio out here? And don't. Okay, hold on. I'll bring the radio out here too. We really finna start vibing. I'm just gonna grab the radio from the garage. We're gonna do some strut. I know Nelly on there. There we go. <laughs> Chastity, please. All right, y'all. We got that Nelly playing. What is she doing? Girl, can y'all come out here? So, and the boy. Looks like Kenneth just called Camille. Camille, do you have a moment to chat? I got the water story to tell you. Dang, we're about to eat. Okay, I'll have her call Kenneth after they get done eating because Kenneth want to talk to the twins so bad. Hello? Oh wait, I think it's because of her period. Okay, it is. She's feeling nauseous from her period. Look at Cadence, y'all. <laughs> I mean, they just cleared the barbecue. Oh, it looks like Camille and Chassie getting sentiment. I really value the time we spend together. Y'all look at Monica. She said, this is my song right here. What y'all know about Nelly? <laughs> Actually, let me, what is she doing? Chastity, have some damn decorum. Because why is she getting on Cadence's iPad to look up woohoo techniques? Girl, stop. Okay, all right, Kenneth. <laughs> Let me have her talk to her dad because he won't talk to her so bad. Did Cameron finish his nap? Okay, he did. Let me have him go use the restroom. His fun's getting low. I wonder if he can play some basketball with Danny maybe. Hello? I love looking at weights. Oh, see the yeah. They're uh -huh. so cute. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Daniel! Daniel! Ain't no way. Not the cookie in the bathroom. Oh, I can't show that. I cannot show that. <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> now he munching on Monica. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me have Cameron still play basketball. We'll have him play with um, Chastity. Even though Chastity looking like, boy, I do not want to do that, but his fun is low. Actually, you know what? Let me have him swing on the swings with her. I think that might fill up his fun. Kay is just taking her nap. Oh, she had her a good old day. These little naps during the summertime after you spent all day out in the sun and then ate that barbecue with that lemonade. Yeah. Kenneth, I spread some juicy gossip about Caleb. Kenneth, don't be messy. <laughs> Look at Camille looking like, mm, I got some dirt on you. <laughs> Let me have her and Caleb come over here and dance together. Teach Caleb to dance? Yes, we're gonna do that. It's the fact that you can hear Monica and Daniel hunching. I mean, she's getting clapped. Oh my goodness. Is this filling up his fun? Okay, it is. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, hold on, I gotta get some pictures. They're adorable. Pregnancy? Miss Monica, you better not be pregnant. I know damn well you better not be. 
Look at Caleb busting it down. That's what I'm talking about, Caleb. Mm-hmm. Put your back into it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he said, dang, I'm craving me a Big Mac right now. No, you're not. Chill out. <laughs> What are they talking about? What is it to talk about? Come on, Kayla, you only know like three words. Stop. Disobedient toddler. Oh, what to do? How does one convince a toddler to do anything? Such defiance? Oh. Dang, Caleb, you don't even want to dance? <laughs> I don't know why, but Isabella is just like in the worst mood. Can we cheer her up? Cause it's all about death. Oh, let's do that. Or I feel like she wouldn't have had that amazing. closer relationship with Mia, Reggie but out. I don't know. Um, Maybe she did. <laughs> Hearing praise and not exclusivity. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh, it's not a club. Okay, okay, hold on, y'all. I did say around nine we're gonna head over to Brychester because the cream session starts at ten. Um, so we need to head over to that. I did not realize that Camille was that exhausted. I'll have Camille grab some coffee at the commons. Looks like Danny and Monica are done with their little hunching session. And Danny is feeling deeply in love with Miss Monica. I would have the twins say bye to their parents, but I also want to try to get to the commons in time. So plus we'll see the next episode at graduation. So I'll meet you guys in Brychester. So update, we're currently at the townhomes again because I went to the Brychester commons and of course the current session did not work. Are we surprised? No, we're not. So I have the twins relaxing at the bonfire instead and we're just gonna hang out with the roommates. And honestly, this is for the best because Camille is exhausted. So she needs to head to bed pretty soon. I have her doing her homework for her classes tomorrow. So she has an 11 a.m. class and then a class at 1.30 and then same from her brother. But Cameron already finished his homework for tomorrow. So he's just strumming on the guitar. Oh, <laughs> not Joy feeling left out. I feel so bad. I locked Cameron and Anthony's door so that they wouldn't keep coming over to their townhouse, but now I kind of feel bad. <laughs> okay, I think Camille just finished her homework. So honestly, I'm gonna just have her go to bed. Meanwhile, Anthony's just enjoying his marshmallows. I was trying to control him to see if he'd be messy, but I'll stop controlling him. I honestly don't know why I invited Chastity over. She could have went home. She's getting tired too, but we're gonna have her watch her man play the guitar for a bit. The fire's about to go out, so once it does, I'm gonna just have everybody go to bed. Oh, she said, yeah, I'm going to bed. <laughs> she said, this was cute. This little gig was cute, but I'm going to bed. I wonder if she has pads and tampons in her bag and don't. Okay, put this back in your inventory. I think Camille might have some pads and tampons. Oh, she don't have no pads and tampons. Um, why does nobody have any pads, any tampons, or any birth control? Oh my gosh, it's like y'all want to get pregnant. And because Chastity is an NPC right now, I can't have her go to the store and get any. So I'm gonna have Cameron go to the store instead. Okay, let's get two boxes of pads and tampons, two packs of birth control pills, two bottles of the Wicked Chill pills, and then protection for Cameron. Damn, why did that cost a thousand simoleons? <laughs> I'm just glad I peeped that before any hunching happened in this episode because I would have been so sick to my stomach if somebody ended up pregnant. Okay, give that to Camille. Camille now has the chill pills, her pads and tampons, and then some birth control. Let me go ahead and have her take one. <laughs> I'm gonna have Cameron wake Chastity up so that he can give her her pads and tampons as well. <laughs> Y'all, Seven is taking me out. I actually might control Seven and have her talk to her man. Okay, we're gonna give Chastity her stuff. Hello? Hi. You go, please. It's like, hey, babe, we got you some pads and tampons. Okay, now she should be able to use them. Oh, is she gonna go use it? Oh my gosh, she is! That's so adorable! <laughs> that is the cutest! She said, yes, I needed that. I needed that bad. Look at her walking confidently. I'm screaming. 
<laughs> she said, I need to get this pad in me right now. <laughs> can I just drag the rest into her inventory? I feel like I can't. I can't. Okay. It's him still having Chastity's draws in his inventory. I'm gonna have her come back up here and he can give her her birth control too. Bookworm, Sawubi. Ah. Uh, Oofara. Uh, hmm. Ah! Uh. Lanji. <laughs> All right. Flan for Vantu. Aww. Oh. Then we'll have them go to bed. Hello. Flan up. <laughs> I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just give me all. <laughs> okay, so everybody is asleep. I don't know why, but I got this new bed for Camille and it's bugging out, so I might need to switch that out. So it's Tuesday, it's five in the morning, and I had the twins jump right out of bed because we have a little bit of a dilemma, y'all. Apparently the twins last day of university is Ooh. today instead of tomorrow, and we don't have a lick of classwork done, y'all. I think this might've happened because I adjusted the time with MC Command Center and it might've just thrown off the twins last semester because the twins have to submit a term paper, give a presentation, and then take a final exam. However, it says that they have to take their final exam tomorrow, but they can't because the last day is today. So yeah, my gameplay for Discover Uni is bugged. So guess who's over university gameplay? Me. Because tell me why this got me more stressed out than when I was actually in college. Don't know how we're gonna be able to take this exam. I might have to use UI cheats to cheat it. Don't like cheating, but honestly, I'm over it. Like I just want the twins to be done with university at this point. I wish I had peeped this before they spent all day with their bears yesterday. Cause I would have been quick to have them come home and do some classwork. Because I originally planned for us to spend today with Chastity and have her go on her little tutoring session with her fine ass professor Alexander. But I'm not sure if we're gonna have time to do that. Man, I don't care, y'all. I might I might squeeze it in either this episode or next episode. I'm gonna find a way because I had already prepped for it and everything. But I did close my game real quickly to add a mod that's supposed to make your Sims complete their turn paper presentations faster. So we'll see how it goes. I should have been added that mod in my game, honestly. That would have, we probably would have had some good ass grades. <laughs> Camille probably would have been an all A student if we had done that. Their first class for today is at 11. I'm gonna see if I can try to squeeze in that term paper before then. But Chastity is leaving. I don't need Cameron to be distracted whatsoever. We gotta finish their coursework. It's so crazy. Cause it's like, even I procrastinate in the damn Zooms. Like I used to procrastinate so bad in university y'all. <laughs> I used to wait until the very last minute to do all of my college assignments. I'm not sure if the mod's working because I don't know how long it originally takes them to write papers, but we're, we're up fresh in the morning though. I actually might have Joy make some tea so that Camille can feel focused. Help us out, girl. Please. I'm begging. Mm. Look at our cute little smeg. <laughs> Aga. Dang, that only made one serving? Okay, well. I'll have Camille drink on that. Hopefully that'll put her in a focus mood. Uh. Oh, it worked. Pitch black. A little caffeine can help us sim focus. Look at the words going. She not even typing. That's what I'm talking about right there. She's using her telepathy skills to get that paper done. I know that's right. Is Joy crying? She is. I don't know why she's sad. I don't know how to help her and I feel bad. Uh-uh. We don't got time for that. Anthony, go on somewhere else with that. Do not come in here and bother Cameron. We got too much on our plate right now. And he's still gonna talk to him. Anthony, go on somewhere. Oh my gosh. It's the way that I had a mod to fix this and the appliances are still breaking. That's okay though. We got our little repairman to help us out. <laughs> Hello? Anthony! She don't got time for that today. Anthony will be a set. Dang, this thing kind of reminded me of Camille, right? Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay, it says here that Camille has finished her draft of her return paper. Let's see if we could try to squeeze the edits in before her first class. And then I think Cameron's done too. Yeah, he is. 
Fingers crossed they can get it done before huh. 11 o'clock. But they should be able to. That's in three hours. He really said this thing reminded him of Camille. It was trying to hunch on her. I'm sorry, Anthony. I'll let you get in a little bit later on, but not right now. <laughs> but while the twins edit their papers, I do want to talk about what I had planned oh. later on because I don't think I touched on that. So originally I planned for Cameron's fraternity to host a party tonight to celebrate the Whoa. end of the term and we'll still do it. I'm thinking they'll start around 8 p.m. Oh, flinging fixes. Auntie is born to weld a hammer. Should he finally embrace that he likes handiness? Yes. 100% Anthony Hunt, can you mop this up for us instead of talking oh, to Cameron? I'd highly appreciate it. Thank you, Buki. Hello? Uh -huh. Become friends with Seven? Ah. See, now he got too much dip on his show. <laughs> ah. Now he trying to do too much. But like I was oh. saying before, the party will be taking place in Newcrest. It's going to be at a skating rink and it is a themed party. I'm very excited for you guys to see the costumes, especially Anthony's outfits. <laughs> But that won't be happening until later on tonight. Seven, can you please stop playing on that damn violin? Like, <laughs> it is actually irritating. But yeah, that was what I had originally planned for today, other than playing with Chastity and having her go on campus. Oh, she has a happy butt from her single <laughs> loving it lifestyle. <laughs> nothing tying me down. There's nothing like the sweet smell of independence after a nice long sleep. Camille loves waking up single. Huh. And she ovulating too. Oh yeah. All right, no, she finna be a menace at the party tonight. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm I'm done. I'm done. Stop. Please. Like I'm already stressing over the twins and then hearing that irritating ass noise in the background was just sending me over. Oh, tomorrow's barbecue day. It looks like the twins class starts in an hour, but I think they'll be able to get their paper done in time. Dang, I gotta feel bad for deleting Seven's violin. Um, but speaking of Seven in the party, she finna play on that damn piano, ain't it? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so tired of Seven. But Bessie will be visiting Vichester to come see Seven and attend the party. Hey, looks like Camille's paper is looking good. Let me have her submit that real quickly. And then we'll do the same for Cameron. Oh, Matthew's here. Matthew Hunt, I wish we could talk. I really do, but we're so busy right now. <laughs> Dad, Dad. <laughs> Hello? Did y'all see that? Why did Marine act like that towards Matthew? Homegirl was excited to see him. <laughs> Alright, they're heading to class. Gonna have them take notes. But maybe Matthew does have a key. So I'm gonna unlock the door for him. I guess we'll see what he does. I don't know why Marine was so happy to see him. Like she don't got a man of her own. I mean, as soon as I unlock this door, here come a ring coming in here. I unlocked it for Matthew, not you. Oh, I think Matthew left. Oh, I mean, we'll see him later on tonight at the party too. Y'all already know baby Matthew's invited. Okay, looks like the twins are done with their class. I'm gonna have them do some homework. Oh, tell a Jim Wibsey. Boom. Cameron turned his homework confidently. Ah, I think Camille got the same the notification she did. Okay. All right. So far, so good. I think they'll be done with their homework for the semester after this. Amoeba! <laughs> Dang, she's really happy about being single. We get it, girl. We get it. Their next class isn't for another 40 minutes. So I think we're going to... Anthony. Honestly, I'm shocked that he's just now smoking in this episode. The twins next class starts in about 20 minutes or so. So in the meantime, I'm having them start on their presentations. Ow. Ow. <laughs> and then once they get done with their class, I'll have them finish up on them. Oh my gosh, they have to give presentations, y'all. I just don't realize that. Okay. All right. We're not going to freak out. We're not going to freak out. Let me just have them go to class. Hello? Now, why did Anthony come in here? You know what? Let me be messy. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all, that is in the straight red. Let me do some small talk. Let me ask about her day. Well, God, Since he wanted to be in here so bad. Uh, oh, she'll uh -huh. be around. 
Genseba? Oh! Quenzel? Wissoob. Yeah, so you might need to go ahead and leave. <laughs> Because these interactions are not going well at all. Also, you might have peeped that Seven's piano's gone. I deleted that shit. <laughs> she kept playing nonstop and it was irritating me. <laughs> Bad. The twins are back from their second class. I have them working on their presentations again. I'm pretty sure they need to get the presentation before 4.30. So they're not going to have time to perfect the presentations. I'm just going to wait for them to finish capturing the information and then go ahead and present it, which sucks because I was really hoping that we would end the semester off strong. But honestly, it's just something that was out of my control. I just wish I had noticed it sooner and I would have had the twins start their assignments uh, yesterday. Newbie. And I spent so much time at the Rivera's. <laughs> like, I love Miss Monica, but not that damn much. Not that much to jeopardize the twins grades. Looks like Cameron's fun is low. Camille's exhausted. Just push out until we finish up with the presentations. You're almost done. You're almost done with uni. <gasps> Wait. Oh yeah. That's how I know this game is so bugs because they didn't even give their presentations y'all. The term ends at 6 p.m. It's 4.17 and I'm already getting a final grades pop up. But it looks like we got an A for our photography development class, but we didn't present our presentation. I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna question these grades at all, y'all. So it looks like Camille got an A plus, an A minus, and a C minus for her garden class. Pretty sure that's because we weren't actually able to take the final exam, but it looks like her term GPA was a B plus and her final GPA for uni is a B. I'll take it. I will gladly accept it because homegirl was on probation at one point. Oh my God, wait, I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. Graduation is tomorrow. It's been, y'all. I was stressed two minutes ago, but now I'm actually like really excited. Excited. So it looks like Cameron got an A plus, an A minus. Oh, it looks like he got the same grades as Camille. He got a C in his programming class again. I'm pretty sure it's because they weren't able to do their finals. Dang, I really wish the game was a bugs because it would have been so nice for them to have all A's. It looks like Cameron's turn GPA is a B plus and his final GPA for university was a B plus. I will take it. So it looks like the twins are graduating tomorrow, y'all. It's been quite a journey. The twins graduation ceremony from University of Brychester is tomorrow. Time to celebrate. This is such a pinch me moment, y'all. Like they actually finished. Even though I was not expecting them to be done with university until next episode, I'm kind of low key relieved that I don't have to deal with this anymore. University gameplay in The Sims is so stressful. And the fact that I was doing this with two Sims while having them in organizations, while trying to maintain the social life, I'm proud of the twins for juggling it all. <laughs> but we're done, y'all. We're officially done with university. And you know what? Because it's only 4.30 and technically semester doesn't end until 6, I'm going to switch over to Chastity. She's going to go to the commons. I guess she'll have her little tutoring session with Alexander and then she'll be done with university as well. So I'll meet you guys at the commons. We're on campus with Chastity and she's currently in a tutoring session for her class. So if you don't recall, a few episodes ago, I introduced one of her professors. This is Alexander and he teaches language and literature classes at Brychester. The class that he's teaching for this term is reading and writing laws. I did use the club feature from Get Together to host this tutoring session. And I made this little makeshift classroom. It's not just Chastity in the session. We do have a few other students. We have Addison and Gina, both are communication majors. And then we have Rafi and Devin and their language and literature majors. Hi everyone, editing Ashley here. I have no idea what happened, but the in-game audio for this portion of the video was a little bit distorted. So I apologize for that. Luckily it's back to normal in the next portion of the video. I don't know why I keep having technical issues with my videos lately, but hopefully I can get it all sorted out for the season finale for Discover University. But essentially what I wanted to do for this tutoring session was basically like the final test for chastity <laughs> to see if she would be ah. faithful so as you can see here she is a serial romantic and she hasn't been the most faithful sim in my high school years let's be serious and so before we have her tie the knot with cameron i just need to make sure she not gonna hurt him <laughs> that's the last thing i need her to do and I think Alexander's the perfect person to test this on because not only do they have amazing compatibility, she finds this man to be extremely attractive. And Chastity, she don't find that many folks extremely attractive. Even though she's a serial romantic, she's picky. So we're gonna have Alexander come over here and help her out on her paper. Ooh, okay, we're gonna discuss the latest book. That's what she's probably doing. She's probably writing a paper on the book that they read in class. 
So I'm gonna have him come over here and have him talk to her about it, and we'll go from there. Oh, if I knew he was gonna sit there, I would have had um, Addison moved out the way. Hello? <laughs> Lovable? Alexander feels like spreading some love. Is this me? I'm so confused. Because <laughs> that's definitely a martini glass in that icon. So like, Alexander, are we drinking on the job? Let me know. It looks like Chastity's catching up with her best friend, Addison. I should have to start an engagement story. Oh, I should probably tell Addison about her engagement with Cameron. We should probably do that. Oh, that's probably what she's doing right now. She's probably telling her all about the details on her spring break trip and how Cameron posed to her on a yacht and then how her fiance almost damn near died and then how his twin sister had to revive him back to life. Is she feeling sad, oversensitive for being on her period? No one seems to understand or care about what Chastity's going through right now. Dang, Addison! Addison said, girl, I don't care about that story. You shouldn't invite me to that dream break trip. Smurgis. I felt quink. that. I felt Who's that. Uh, Complain about Professor? Oh, quink. Not oh, she I'm doing that in front of Alexander. Even Alexander said, like, girl, bye, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, Gina's over here. Oh, supposed to be doing some classwork, but she's not. I think I want to control Rafi and have him speak to Chastity. Just just one more time. What is she doing? Yeah. Pretty yeah. romantically not as a lot. Now see, that's the second time Chastity done did that. All right, yeah, let me come over here and try this again. No, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I got faith in Chastity, but I don't know if I got that much damn faith. I'm gonna have, um, Rafi compliment her outfit. Oh no, not him feeling flirty. <laughs> Ready for some action? From Woohoo Drive, Rafi is itching for some fun and not safe work variety. Oh. <laughs> and he wants to start a new relationship? Yeah. Well, let me go ahead and have him talk to Chastity. Damn! Oh my! Why did Addison laugh? Why did Addison laugh? Oh my god. Y'all, Chastity does not like Rafi at all. Like, no matter what he does, she just pushes him away. Uh -huh. You know what? Let me try some. Let me have Alexander give her a heartfelt compliment and see what she does. Oh, okay, so she was quick to accept his compliment. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. Good one. Alexander can't stop laughing. That joke Chassie just told him was way too good. Now she cutting it up with him. Interesting. Interesting. Let me have her edit her term paper so that we can submit it and then go to this party because it's already 8 p.m. But it's fine. It's fine. College parties don't start until late at night anyways. Let me see if I can have Alexander help her with her paper some more. Ooh, share ideas. Okay, let's do that. I think that's very fitting. Oh, she's feeling inspired now. Bringing out the best from adoring someone nearby. I'm pretty sure that's for Addison, though. Alright, Chastity, let's just focus on our turn fee for now. Oh no, she needs to change out her pad and tampon. Okay, I'll have her do that at the party. Even though Chastity finds this man extremely attractive, she did not honestly flirt with him or anything. I try to have Rafi kind of be a little bit flirtatious towards her. She shut it down again. So I think it's safe to say I can change out Chastity's aspiration for next season. I don't know what aspiration I want her to have. So if you guys have any suggestions in the comments, let me know. But yeah, I think it's time to change this aspiration, y'all. I think Jassy done proved to us that she's a changed woman. She said it is. <laughs> All right, she's submitting her paper, y'all. It was normal quality, but it's good enough. It's 10 p.m. She finna graduate in the morning. Girl, just go ahead and submit it. <laughs> 
All right, so Chastity has submitted her term paper. Just ignore yeah. all this course credits and everything. We just gonna pretend that this says that she completed the term, but we're officially done with the university gameplay, y'all. And if I'm gonna be so honest with y'all, I don't wanna touch university gameplay for at least a good old while because this has to been the most stressful gameplay I've ever done. And I'm so over it. I'm gonna end the tutoring session. Actually, fun story, when I was in school getting my degree, I remember being in the same exact predicament as Chastity. It was the final day of the term. And I remember working with my professor until like 11 o'clock midnight on a software program. And this just gave me deja vu. Like staying up late on campus, trying to get assignments done. I don't miss that at all, at all, not one bit. But I'm gonna have Chastity head home and get ready for the frat party. And I'll meet you guys in Newcrest where the party is taking place. Hola. We made it to New Crest with the twins and their friends and Cameron's fraternity rented a skating rink to host the end of the term party. So this lot is originally made by Sim Coobies. I think it's their 80s roller disco lots. It's very recent, but I'm gonna let y'all know right now. The interior has been completely remodeled, but I'll show you guys a few little details that I added. So I added some pool tables made by Utopia. We have a wide variety of pizzas to choose from. And then punch made by, of course, Somic and Severinka. And then here Here's the skating rink. We have a little arcade, a little bar area. And then we have a little area where you're able to rent out skates. Camille, please, we just got here. Not she got a traction slurp for Avery. I'm screaming, but I added some custom music to go with the theme. If you couldn't tell, we're going for like a disco slash 70s theme. So all the college students are dressed in accordance. But I did cheat the twins' knees. I imagine they tended to them while I was playing with Chastity, so. We're starting off on a clean slate. I think I'm gonna start off with Cameron getting some cigars from the vending machine. And then we'll have Camille order a drink at the bar. Also, Chastity's family chauffeur is the bartender, so I guess he got a second gig. Uh, I'm just gonna drink this drink right here. He done already made it. Nobody done claimed it. We just gonna take it. Oh, but I didn't show the twins outfit. So here's Camille's outfit. Super cute. And then I wanna show you guys Cameron's outfit. And I just wanna give a personal shout out to a few CC creators. I'm gonna have their information on the screen right here, but literally without their custom content, this party and the theme would not have been possible, you guys. I did rely heavily on the Paranormal Stuff Pack as well for a few assets for the most part. I used a lot of custom content from the creators that are listed here. Okay, let's have Cameron have a cigar. I feel like that's very fitting, very fitting. But let me talk about why we're having the party at the skating rink, because I actually never touched on this. And I think it's the Winterfest episode when the twins went to Rockefeller Center to the ice skating rink. I have Cameron and Camille's skating skill to be like level four or five-ish. And the reason why is because I imagined them growing up in Oasis Springs. Monica and Kenneth would take them to the skating rink when they were little every weekend so that they can go roller skating. And so that's why they're able to skate so well. But yeah, I never mentioned that in the Winterfest episode, but that's why they have such a high skating skill. And I kind of want them to go skating. So we'll have Cameron invite Chastity to skate with him. And then Camille will go skate with, is Tasha here yet? We're still waiting for a bunch of Sims to come to the lot. I'm gonna have her invite Joy and Avery since she got an attraction alert for her and then Cordelia. 
Oh, Sasha's not here yet. Okay, we're gonna do that. We do have a few frat members here. So Sean's here. We have Devin over here in the corner, mingling with the guests. And then we have Vetsio here. So like I said before, Seven invited him. I wonder if Seven's here yet. Oh, there she goes. Okay, I'm gonna control her, y'all. So that she could, is she about to go tossly talk to Vetsio? Wait, is she for real? Zard's canoe. I mean, she came over here. Not Camille getting attractions alert for Cordelia. Y'all, I don't know what's going on with my game, but Camille just keeps getting attractions alerts left and right. Okay, let me control seven. He fucking that shit up. Dang, Vetsio, now he busting it down. Let me have her embrace him. There we go. But yeah, it'll be a lot more lively once everybody shows up to the light. Oh, you. Aww. And I got Margaret the matching, y'all. Seven will soon have a period. Oh, I'm so Possibly over periods gone. in the game. Uh, so over again. it. I'm gonna have her Where compliment his boy? outfit. Waffle tub for Bose. Uh, oh, looks like they're Rambo. talking to Devin now. Oh, y'all, look at everybody skating. <laughs> Look at Camille, y'all. Y'all, baby Matthew's here. Let me go ahead and control him. I wonder if Jordan's here. Him and Jordan are matching. I wish I could needs. Oh, he's getting hungry. Okay, let me have him grab a slice of pizza. We'll have him grab the tikka masala slice. But I'll show you guys a few of the sims we have here. We have, oh, I forgot her name. Okay, this is Noelle. She's on the cheer squad with Camille. We have Addison here. Gina's here. We have Maureen, Sasha. She's part of the art society. Um, who is this? Okay, this is Julia. She's a pre-maid. Oh, we have some more frat members over here. This is Ryder right here. Kennedy's here. We have oh, Romeo's so girlfriend, just... Victoria. Um, Kai's here Hi, from Jack. the cheer team. Avery. Tasha's here. So yeah, we still waiting on some more folks to show up, y'all. We got 40 plus sims coming. Oh, there goes Romeo, y'all. Oh, looks like Cindy's here. His fiance Liam should be here too. I'm gonna have Camille play pool. And she already, quote unquote, played a game with Anthony. I want her to play with somebody else. Maybe she plays with Tasha. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna have her play with Tasha. Where's Chastity? Damn, Ch <laughs> Let me control Chastity. I'm gonna control her. Dang, they ate all the pizza. Okay, hold on, y'all. We need to we need to get more pizza. It's costing us an arm and a leg, y'all. An arm and a leg. All right, pizza is out on display for everybody. I'm gonna have Cameron play pool with Matthew. Oh. Check on their knees. Okay, they're pretty good. Oh, y'all look at Seven. Just living her best life. I know that's right. It's best you still dancing over there in the corner for me. <laughs> Now she's talking to Devin. Oh, whoa! I trust Chastity at this point. She feels blurry because of Cameron. I'm gonna have her, um, hello? Hello, what was that? Oh, she's feeling fatigued from roller skating. I'm gonna have her come over here and grab a slice of pizza. I think I'll have her grab the kebab pizza. Samsung, complete. Yeah, we're gonna be here all night, y'all. Oh, is that Chesty's mom? And is I swear, y'all, Chesty's parents stay keeping tabs on that girl. Oh, yips. 
Ah, and Fabi. Mustiba. What if he messy to have chastity tell Gina about her engagement with Cameron? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Maybe Matthew has gotten so grown over the years, y'all. Yeah, like, <laughs> let me stop. Let me chill. I mean, he looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, Chastity finna tell Gina about her engagement. Girl, she faking that excitement. She deaf flaking in excitement. It says your wedding fever. Chastity just announced her engagement to Gina. And the wedding fever has hit. These two will have so much fun playing this wedding together. Maybe Gina really has moved on from camera. I mean, she hasn't talked to that man for real since high school. <laughs> she done probably done moved on, dated a couple folks. <laughs> She's less than camera for real. Now Holly talking to Anthony. Let me have a catch up with Holly, actually. Let's go for her outfit. <laughs> it's Chastity's mom really being here for real and being active. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> Didn't she do the same as that thing in high school years when the twins graduated? <laughs> Now she find y'all. This has to be like some sort of bug or something because she finding everybody and their mom attractive. Now she talking about handcuffs. Hello. Now Holly didn't already turned you down once. Oh, she's talking to Holly and Tasha. That's why. She said, "What if we never mind? Let me stop." <laughs> she said, "What if we? What if us three got together?" Speaking of which, let me have to talk to Anthony since Anthony was feeding on, hunching on her. Let me let me have him compliment her appearance. Since him and, and Seven officially broke up, I guess he can do that now. <laughs> Hello. Now she flirting with this man, y'all. She really said, since you on the market now, let's follow me back. <laughs> I'm so weak. Honestly, like I said last episode, there she go again. It's because she feeling freaky from finding everybody named Mama attractive. They literally met each other's match. Like, I feel like they're both just as equally, I wouldn't say problematic, although, they very much give that energy. Oh my god. <laughs> so just the look that was under pressure that another sim has their gaze pressed directly upon her. But the glimmer in her eyes is plain to see the answer she has to- Alright, yeah. Is she still wearing the skates? It is? Girl, if you don't return those skates! Oh my goodness, sometimes we got to get by with a little help from our friends. Anthony asking for a quickie at the damn skating rink, y'all. It's six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> really actually need to get home because the twins do graduate in the morning. I think around like 10. So we, we need to head home. And it's barbecue day. I'm gonna say sure. But we gonna take it to the crib because it's getting late. It's six o'clock in the morning. We really need to get home. Not Anthony smoking. Not Tasha vape. What? Y'all, wait a minute. I smell thruple, y'all. I smell thruple. I don't know about y'all. I smell thruple. I'm expecting her advances too. So like, is her finally hunched on Anthony? Girl, we, we going to the crib. We going to the crib with it. Tasha sending her a suggestive look kind of like confirms that Tasha was scheming to get Anthony to get back with Seven so that Tasha can get with Camille. But I also looked at the footage from the last episode where I thought Anthony flirted with Tasha and he did y'all. So I'm thinking maybe they want to throuple. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments how you feeling because it's starting to get very messy. Like I know I say that all the time but like it really is so hard to figure out what these three want. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony be trying to get real friendly with Tasha. Tasha trying to get real friendly with Camille. Camille trying to get real friendly with Anthony. And it sounds like all three of them just need to get together at this point. That's what it really sounds like. 
I'm gonna have her hunch on Anthony when they get back to the townhomes. But y'all let me know about Tasha and what we should do. Because someone had pointed out to me that Tasha is basically like the only friend that Camille has not tried to hunch on. Like she was friends with Seven, but then she slept with Anthony. So that friendship fell through. I imagine the same for Maureen. She slept with Joy. She likes Kennedy. She hasn't slept with Kennedy yet. So we can consider her a good friend, but... For the most part, Camille likes to sleep with her friends. I don't know. I don't know how else to put it. So I'm so hesitant on having her do any more with Tasha. At one point, I was okay with it, but with her single and loving it lifestyle, I just don't want her to hurt Tasha. I don't mind her hurting Anthony's feelings because bump Anthony, he done cheated on seven. He deserved his feelings to get hurt. I don't care. <laughs> but I don't want the same to happen to Tasha. So just let me know if we should finally pursue her or just continue having her do her own thing and just hook up with whoever she wants and do whoever she pleases. I don't even know what we gonna do in season three, y'all. Like I thought Camille at this point would be slowing down, but it looks like that's not the case. It looked like she finna continue her lifestyle of being single and loving it. I mean, we saw earlier in the episode that she was okay with that. Like she was very much happy about doing that. But I think we're pretty much done with the disco party. This was the final event before the twin graduate in the morning it feels bittersweet it really does like we're definitely going to keep in touch with all the university students they're going to do their own thing they'll still be background characters it's time for the twins to move on to the next chapter of their lives get their big kid jobs and become adults I'm gonna have cameron say bye to matthew but matthew will be coming to the twins graduation in the morning you know what Where's Romeo? Let me have him interact a little bit with Victoria before we leave. So so. Ah, uh, yeah, no, let's. New yep for no. What are they doing? Oh, are they about to play a game of pool again? It's seven in the morning. We don't have time for that. Y'all look at Devin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Romeo! Oh my gosh, not the quickie at the skating rink! They talked for two seconds. Y'all asked me what my Wicked settings are set on. I literally have a whole video on it, but it's looking like I need to tone down my settings even more because the way that these sims be just so freaky deaky, it don't make no sense. Like... Okay, all right. <laughs> You know what, Romeo, you got it. We made it back on campus. Pretty sure the twins graduate in two hours, y'all. And do. This don't make no damn sense. Y'all really partied until the graduation ceremony. But listen, this is our last night in the dorms. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be kicking the twins out of their dorm rooms pretty soon, probably very shortly after graduation. And so I just wanna, you know, spend one last little hunch of session in each other's bed. <laughs> now she's feeling tense. Girl, bye. I know y'all see what that buff says. She was ovulating a little bit early on, so clearly she wants this. Just to have a little quickie before graduation. Oh my god, y'all. I forgot to change Anthony's sleepwear. So. <laughs> I've seen a handful of comments asking if Anthony wears his little his little wig to bed. And I said, let me entertain y'all. Let me entertain them comments. So <laughs> I got him wearing his little bob to bed. This is a little emotional support wig, y'all. I done forgot this bed is glitched. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is a hot mess. I hate this so bad. I hate this so bad. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. This bed is so bugged. Unsatisfied? Anthony. It looks like Anthony was satisfied, but not Camille. That's crazy. I kind of want him to go back to his bed at that point. Because <laughs> why are you satisfied, not Camille? I switched out the bed so it shouldn't no longer be buggy. I'm going to have Camille go to bed with Anthony and his little bob. Damn, he was real quick to get in that bed. <laughs> but I think we're going to end off today's video right here. The twins are officially done with university and it's time for them to graduate in the final episode of Discovery University. And I cannot wait for you guys to see how the twins celebrate it. 
I know there was a few things that didn't go as planned in today's episode, i.e. the twins final day of term, but I'm honestly satisfied with how everything turned out. I would have loved for their GPA to end up being an A, but I'm okay with them having a B GPA, especially considering how booked and busy the twins were in university. But of course, we're gonna be seeing them in season three. We're gonna be seeing them in their grown and sexy era, and I cannot wait to enjoy today's video. Please be sure to leave a like and comment. I very much appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the season finale of Discovery University. And I'll see you guys in my next video.